but we're going to YouTube. So say hi to YouTube, everyone. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> but uh, here we go. We got two. We got this 100 no limit table. This 200 no limit table. I'm gonna try to take down the man, the myth, the legend, known as Crisp. Making a lot of pretty crazy adjustments against this guy, or I guess adjustments that I think are a little crazy, but I think they're gonna be long term profitable against him. So purple, aka my BFF, means like a very, 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 very recreational player. Um, yellow is for maniac, which means they're just crazy, constantly bluffing, three betting, betting, getting it in very super wide ranges. Could also give these guys a purple tag, but um, I think someone with this type of tag is a little bit tougher to play against just because they're so aggressive. This guy's more passive, as you can see by the stats here. It's a bummer that he's like in basically direct position on me now on this table. It's going to make it a little tougher to play for sure. Could just get up and move over here. With this guy being so short stacked, uh, I'm just going to fold the queen 10 up suit. And opening pot. Could consider calling. Actually, the only reason I would be doing it would be to uh, get this guy in the pot and play with him. Oh, snap. We want to see a showdown if we can. If we can see a showdown, that would be fantastic. This is going to be jammed in on the river for sure. Okay, when he checks it, I think he actually has like some aces here that are, for some reason, going for check calls in this river. Or he's giving up on bluffs, but I think his bluffs would probably want to just rip it in on this river, right? Being a guy like Crisp. So I'm weighting him quite a bit more towards like hands that were value betting that are now giving like going for check calls. Let's see what happens. Looks like you checked back. Did I lag out? What's going on? No, I'm seeing action over here. Did this table freeze? So I was right. He was going he was certainly going for a check call in that river. We can check back and call down here. I think that's reasonable. Just either try to get the showdown or call a call a bluff. Over here on this side, I'm just giving up. Well, against a $1 bet, I'm not giving up. <laughs> I see three bet nuts put on his uh, his fancy wig for YouTube. Probably a good choice. Wish I would have uh, dressed up a little bit. All right, we're giving it up here. Considering donkey on this board, it might actually be the play. But we're going to go for the check call to keep him in the pot with a pretty wide range. And if we manage to hit our hand, we're going to try to increase our implied odds by getting crisp involved as well. And just continuing with the plan. And, uh, I don't know. 
we'll let this guy figure out what he wants to do. Can't fold, can't ever fold the river. We're gonna be behind quite a bit, but I mean the price is just too good. We split it up. I get a call here and see what he does on the river. I'll probably be, I mean, on the turn. I might be jamming quite a bit of turns um, as a semi bluff. Now that we have a pair, we're just going to call down. I mean, if he run around the flush, he's got it. He can have some kings for sure, but this is Chris we're talking about here. Um, we're going to lose quite a bit, but I think we went often enough that we're good. I think we went often enough that we're good to go. My boy Crisp coming in hot with a 2-8. And here it is. Here it is. <laughs> this is why we fired up the video. It's happening. Shoot. I'm going to limp and hope that he doesn't jam. I don't think I can call a jam with the King-10 here. He doesn't jam. Okay, we get to see a flop. No, terrible fold. Why am I ever folding two over cards? I hope you win this one, see my man. Really hope you take it down. Uh, real quick here. We're all in in the band of the 22 with our ace king. Probably gonna have a chance to triple up because I can't imagine this guy's folding with his stack size with two bounties on the line after he limped. All we need is an ace or king. Come on, don't do not do it to us. And he gets a queen. Right, we're out of the band of the 22. All right, back up here. Now that he's pretty short stacked, um, I'm just going to find a fold. He had us covered. He had us crushed. We're going to get a jam. Nope. Well, now I'm going to check this for value. This is just silly. I don't... I mean, maybe he's going to bet small with like a... I don't know, something and then bluff. But I think he's just betting like an 8 and then planning on checking a ton. So we're just going to make a small check raise, and I think we're getting pretty good value here. Nope, everyone folds. What did I miss over here? I see a 9-2 and an ace-3. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, let's hope we hold if he jams. Now we're going to make it 70. One. A bit of two chips, sir. <laughs> All right, well. We don't need to do anything until the river. We'll jam the river if he checks to us, obviously, but we're just going to take a super passive line until that point. Fast action here. He reloaded. Let's go. And he's jamming again. Get fold. Chris put the down. <laughs> If he decides to jam, we'll have to call here. If he doesn't, he just calls. 
flop top pair. I'm actually going to just bet pot. Let him figure out what he wants to do. He wants to call. I don't think I'm folding here either. This is a pretty scarier line because you can have like king. I mean, I actually want to think about this one. This is a lot scarier than uh, when I'm just checking because I actually bet pot and then pretty big on the turn. And he's going for it. Oh man, he's just going to so bluff so often. What is he checkman? If it was a non hard on the river, I think I have to call. I'm going to make a tight fold here against Crisp. We're going to make a tight fold here. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I guess we can't be making those tight folds ever. Not willing to check call down for uh, a huge pot when I don't have any of the backdoor flush draws in this one. We're betting for value on the flop. And we're betting for value on the turn. It was so close to calling with that ace 10. So close to calling that he's 10. It's just a much harder spot to bluff, I think, in general. But our boy Crisp, he found the way. He found the will, he found the way. <laughs> That's for sure. Oil the label. <laughs> Why why are all your <laughs> why are all your adverts sponsored, man? And how do you get these sponsorships? I want to get that oil of LA sponsorship for sure. Got a call here with the flush draw for such a small bet. And uh, still getting a pretty good price. Let's hit that flush on the river. Nope. Imagine he rips in pot. Can't make a call queen high half pot. Kind of makes me want to do that, but I don't think we I don't think we need to be taking uh, a bunch of big bluff lines against Crisp. All right, we'll check call down here. Nice, nice. Hey, hey, get out of here, buddy. Just having a good time at this table by myself. I don't need you. I don't need your involvement. Is this the dream? Is this the dream? Could be the dream. This also could be me losing 200 bucks because I'm never, ever, 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 ever folding. What's up, Vance? How you doing, man? God damn it! The old, the old bluff ten high to runner runner the the set. Thanks, Donk. <laughs> All right, you're welcome, buddy. Poker games are going pretty good, man. Except for that one. That one hurt.
over here. Um, probably gonna check raise. We actually get folds from a lot of his hands that we have, uh, like king high, queen high, and with jack high, I can't really make like a big call down. So we're gonna go for a check raise. He calls. I'm gonna continue with my bluff on the turn and uh, certainly give up on the river here. And we're just gonna give up on the river. Those are the only kind of bluffs I'm gonna be making against this guy when I have really high equity against his range. I mean, as you can see, he's floating my check raise on the flop with the top pair. Um, I mean, we, we're actually ahead of his hand at that point, um, percentage-wise. Uh, I'm not gonna be making any like big plays with like even gut shots and things like that or just pure air for sure. But I think with the fluster, I think we're okay to go. Ah, that's so gross. Camp Rosic, ugh. That happened to me in a tournament in a big, pretty big spot the other day. I had queens. No, I had uh, jacks and I both had ace-queen. And uh, lost a bunch. Lost all my chips in that tournament. All right, here we go. Probably just going to raise the flop. I don't want to make a... I mean, there's going to be a lot of hands that are going to have really good equity against me on this board. And uh, I'd rather just... Um, Bet to protect my hand. If he jams, we're going to get it all in. But um, yeah, I'm still okay with getting all in versus him here. Oh, can you give me another thanks, Donk? Oh, he didn't fire it out that time. That's the problem with these guys. When they're running really good, um, you're just going to get crushed. I'm over two. Move for two in the. Uh... Got a limp. Let him raise. Gonna re-raise. He just. On the Chris session, we're up 300, ah, 200. I lost because I lost my 100 here. Um, so we're up like 200-ish. All right, we're just gonna bet for value. Looks like this might be it to the crisp session. Well, that's going to be it for the sesh, guys. <laughs> Maybe he's staying over here. I'm trying to type of this. Nope, I was going to say something, but nope. So we lost uh, we lost a hundy on this table, and we're up three hundred on this one. So we're up two hundred overall. We should have this four hundred dollar stack after that nine ten versus queen queen debacle. That was pretty gross, and we should have had uh, four hundred ish, three hundred ish on the other table, uh, but he got his flush on the river. What can you do? What can you do? All right.
right. Um, we're about to play a huge pot here with Crisp. Check all the all in on the turn. Split it up. We tried. We tried. <laughs> yeah, there's no way you could see my cards. I think if you could, some of the plays you've been making would be pretty questionable. So we just got this one table here. Going to be chilling out. We ended up losing about three, 278 in the, in the MTT sector again today. Losing pretty consistently, like two to 300 a session. So uh, we got to figure out a way to put a stop to that on the MTT side. It ain't over yet. He's, he kept playing. He's still playing, guys. We're still here. The Crisp session? This guy named Crisp right here. He's uh, quite the character. Quite the character. Here we go again. Let's hold, please. Please, for the love of God, hold. There's a queen on the flop. Boom! Boom, boom, boom. Taking Crisp down bit by bit. <laughs> Does he have any more money? He's out, guys. <laughs> well, how long did that take? I've been uh, recording for 26 minutes. <laughs> It didn't take too long to get that money. Um, we're going to click the sit out next big blind. I'm not going to be playing too much longer here. I got I got the action I wanted. We got all his money once again, guys. Round two. We took it. Um, I'm just going to check back here. Actually, I don't know. We're like never getting any better hands to fold here. Um... Let me check it to us twice now, though. I think we can actually get, like, pocket fours and stuff like that to be folding. And we've got equity versus the hands when they call. So we'll bet out. Nice little delayed C bet action. Uh, when he calls... I'm actually going to bet again. I mean, I guess he could check a queen to us twice, but I don't think he's doing that. Uh, there are going to be some queens here. We don't need to bet big. I want to bet a kind of small value, the size I would bet with all my queen x. And uh, also some ace x here that check back the flops with my weak ace x. So we're just going to go for that size. If he calls, he calls. But I think we're going to get enough folds. It's going to be okay. And he calls a king high. So this is the exact hand we were trying to get to fold. <laughs> um, and apparently he's not interested in doing that. But I still think the play is fine. This is kind of like, when he checks to us twice, this is kind of where I expect him to be, plus some of the smaller pocket pairs, like I was saying. I really don't expect many queen X to be in his range. I think those start betting on the turn, but um, he is kind of a recreational player, so I guess we do expect a little more call downs than, than against other players, but a fine play. I think I recognize that we don't win at showdown often enough, and so we want to turn our hand to a bluff when that's the case. And uh, try to give ourselves a chance to win, and we gave it a gave a pretty good price to do that. Uh, we haven't scheduled we haven't scheduled the tournament yet for a while, Vance. So you got some time. Um, it's actually a pretty big size three bet, but uh, we're a little bit deeper stacked, and we're gonna be in position. We're gonna have some some good implied odds and some nice maneuverability. 
this number here is just three bits. So this guy's not like a crazy risk three better. This is like ace king, aces and kings basically right here. So with the back door and the pair, we do have to call one. If he fires uh, anything super sizable on the turn, I'll probably just give it up from a guy that's just has a really tight three betting range in general. All right, and that's big enough for me to wanna get out of there. I'm just gonna, well, we're gonna size up a little bit here. I really expected him to fold a ton and him to call a bunch and we were gonna try to get a bunch of value from him, but it's okay. I'm gonna bet pot here. If he raises, we're in big trouble. And I'll fold pretty quickly if he raises, but. He's kind of capped at like a lot of 9x hands, like ace-9, 8-9, jack-9, 9-10, stuff like that. So I think this looks kind of bluffy when we get the king on the river. I shouldn't have many twos in my range, so I don't think he should be worried about that. The only problem is not many draws missed. But it might just be a line where I'm bet-betting and then trying to rip the king. Maybe he could take that. All right, guys, that is it for the session today. I think we had a pretty good session. So we ended up probably making like... Once it reloads, probably like $1,000 in the cash games today and losing $300 in the MTTs. So it all evens out, right? So <laughs> it's evening out. Uh, yeah, we made like 1000 in the cash games. So not too bad, if I do say so myself. I'll take it. Take it to the bank.